Hey guys, it's Cook Dream. Welcome to part four of Let's Play Ben There Down That. In the last part, what did we do? We went to a dimension where Britain was part of America. We got some guys drunk, we stole a top hat, and we got to this dimension filled with dinosaurs. In this part, we're gonna do stuff in this dimension filled with dinosaurs. Uh, let's take this thermos, because, you know, no one's watching it, and we might as well take it. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's look at this box. It's a cardboard box. It's taped shut. Hmm. Taped shut, you say? I'll take that. Neato! What? What is it? There, there was handhold consoles with prepackaged copies of Gibbage 2. Well, that sounds brilliant! Doesn't it? I'm totally nicking these at some point. I can't believe dinosaurs were at the sequel to one of your games in this dimension. It's nice to know one of my games warrants a sequel. Subtle. Uh, let's just take this with us for now, then, because might as well steal it now. Uh, let's talk to this dinosaur. Let's see what he says. Hail to the king. Hail to fan, huh? What are you working on? Nothing. Nothing? Aren't you supposed to be writing a computer game? With these forearms? Uh, well then how did you get a job here? It's political correctness gone mad is why. Oh, so because I've got small forearms I have less right to work? You're such a racist, Carl. Fun's a game of Chucky Egg. There's no point. If I ever manage to get a high score, Carl over there lumbers over and beats it again. He's so insecure. Check your dictionary, Cecil. The word is kick-ass. I'm so kick-ass. Nice model plane. Are you joking? This is an X-Wing. You know, from the best movie series of all time. I can't remember one of those in Mannequin, or in Mannequin 2, on the move. <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super dumbass. Hey, we don't all have leathery thick skin, you know. You're a dick. See you next Ice Age. Ice what? Okay. Let's see what's over here. Ooh! Games! Let's play them. I'm not playing this one. It looks dull. It also looks broken. Damn! Blue screen of death. No, oh, we can play this one, though. There's no money in it. You can say that again. Bah! He's saying that the video game industry is not a very stable one financially. We've got one credit. Player one has joined the game. Here we go! Go, Ben! You can do it! I'm on fire! That's probably not a good thing. I died. Game over. Did you get the high score, Ben? Certainly didn't, Dan. Not even close. There's no money in you can say that again. Um, well, clearly Ben isn't quite good enough to do this. Hey, Dan, why don't you take a wizard? All right, light switch boy. Now, that was our last 10p, so you're better damn good at this thing. It was a huge pile when I last checked. Seriously, you want me to do something? What are you talking about? I'm constantly asking you to do stuff. Yeah, but not stuff I'd actually be willing to do. This, however, is right up my street. Step back, good buddy, and prepare to be amazed by elite Chucky Egg skills. Oh god, what have I done? You've got a guy to play a game? Are you ready then? Here we go! Oh man, look at those skills! Possible E. Possible E. I don't know. There you go, a new high score. Yeah, brilliance. I didn't read what Ben said, but... Oh, he was putting your name as bum, I think. Yeah, the old classics. Uh, excuse me, what exactly is going on here? I forgot his voice, so that's his new one. What's going on is the wizard over here just whooped your Jurassic ass on Chucky Egg. Uh, I don't think so. Let me see that. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. It's true. It's all true. How could you? How could you possibly? I'd better get to work. Uh, that means he's left his station abandoned. Okay. Meanwhile, again. How are our guests doing? On schedule, they're currently in Dimension 3357. You mean the Dino Mention? What? Uh, oh, yes, yes, very good, yes. The Dino Mention, indeed. And tell me, old friend, what news of our plot? Excellent progress thus far. The people of Earth have been clamoring to get their grubby little mitts on a copy of Hello World. At this rate, we predict 100% of the population will have played it by tea time. ha! <laughs> Those people have no taste whatsoever. This game is ridiculous. I know, I know. Just because it came from another world, they can't get enough of it. That's a, that looks like Mr. Game and Watch playing there. Well, it all helps to cement our award-winning, brilliant, and nefarious scheme, eh? Certainly does. At this rate, we'll be ready for Phase 4 before you know it. Oh, I can't wait for Phase 4. Me either. It's going to be tops. It is going to be tops, probably. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty weird ending there. Just... I'm staring at them. Uh, so, yes. Now that he has abandoned his post, let's see what's over here. Ooh, what's this thing? Let's look at it. 
It's a Death Star toy. Many Bothans died to bring you this information. Bothans? I don't know what that is. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Let's use it. This is going to be fun. Um, oh, whoops. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's worse than I thought. One with bashing that priest to death, poisoning those three louts with alcohol, and now this. It's turning about to be quite an eventful day for you, really, isn't it? Whoops. Um, buddy? Excuse me, Mr. Dinosaur, are you alright? Bugger. Um, okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's, let's take this. Let's take this with us. Just be on our merry way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we we're killing too many people. Let's let's get out of here before anyone notices. Do to do to do. <laughs> Nothing going on here. We certainly haven't killed anyone. What's wrong? It smells like alien in here. Can you smell that? And suddenly it does smell a little more alien than before. Yes. They've been here, the nippy little alien bastards. Oh, I keep skipping things by accident. Sorry. It's just slightly ajar. Can you see it? Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, then anyone supposed to see that for fuck's sake? Well, because Dan pointed it out. So there's another little door here. Let's go through. Oh my god! This is horrible. It's the worst dimension yet. A room full of stuff we've done and said. Oh, the horror! The horror! Relax, chum. This isn't a different dimension. This is just a hidden surveillance room on the ship. Oh, really? Whew. No, wait, that's even worse, isn't it? Could be. Let's explore a little and find out exactly what's going on here. What's this thing? Oh, it's a crowbar. Nice. Look at me, I'm Gordon Freeman! Woo! You're an idiot is what you are. Whatever, Barney. I don't know that reference, because I haven't played Half-Life or Half-Life 2 or any of that jazz. It's a low-tech computer screen displaying profiles of Dan and me. Although I'm the only one they've deemed worthy for picture. And a special skill that says here that I'm an excellent leader and I get an A at picking things up without examining thoroughly first. Bleh. When I say things, they all become a tongue twister. Awesome. What is the list of my special skills? Light switches. Damn it. Damn it indeed. Hey, it's us! Sorry, I keep accidentally skipping it because I'm an idiot. I'll start this again. Oh look, there's a nice one of you killing that priest in a brutal and horrific fashion. Oh, Jesus, you don't think this whole thing has been some sort of elaborate entrapment sting operation operation by the Rosas, do you? I'd say it's highly unlikely. Where would they get a spaceship, for starters? You're right. You're right. <sighs> He's right, indeed. Uh, so now that we've got a crowbar, we can find... I think we can finish off this dimension as well by going to fish and fries? That's not right. It's meant to be fish and chips. Drivers! 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 Sorry guys, there's a weird audio glitch here, um, so, yeah, I don't know what happened, but it really only lasted, like, 15 seconds, so that's pretty convenient, all things considered. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Who the hell are you three? Who are we? We, we are three geniuses. Evil genius, evil genius. Thank you, David. We are three evil geniuses with a foolproof master plan for the destruction of the city. And the total eradication of all humankind, except us. And the total eradication of all humankind, except us, obviously. Seriously, you're evil geniuses? Oh, yes, we've got a whole array of evil genius master plans just waiting to be put into action, you'll see. And that's the drawings you have behind you, I guess. Blueprints! These blueprints represent phase one of our upcoming weekend of terror. As you can plainly see with your eyes, these plans will rain down unimaginable evil upon the city. Destroy any and everything in our path. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why are you hellbent on destruction of humanity? Dirty, dirty. Full of idiots who do stupid things. Needing wiping clean and starting again. No good games anymore. And no good games anymore. Seems reasonable to me. What are you drinking? This is, this is our moonshine. It's an alcoholic beverage the likes of which the world has never seen because it has been made primarily with evil in mind. It's our own creation. Two parts battery acid, one part battery acid, and a splash of every sort of alcohol under the sun. I said that gold slag of stuff, and that's nasty. 
It's not that nasty gold stack of stuff. And then we just did it for a bit, mix it with neat alcohol and paint stripper and serve. It's very warming. Hmm. So, why all the boozing dents? Life went wrong. Things happened. We had it all! And you have us successful video game journals, all three of us were. Top of our field! And Stu was awarded a Games Master Golden Joystick for services to awesomeness. Simon was knighted for writing an article about how some games are shit because of attacked on stealth elements. And David wrote a review which was so good, entire nations threw down their weapons and embraced peace. We truly were the bestest. So what went wrong? We became jaded. We had sampled the very best games in the universe, and there was nothing left to experience. When we saw there were no more worlds left to conquer, we wept. There were no more worlds left to conquer. We knew then there was no way mankind would ever produce a video game of enough awe-inspiring brilliance to arouse us again. So we turned our back on the industry we once loved, and came here to set up new offices as evil geniuses and destroy the world. Except us. Except us, obviously. What a tragic tale. Hmm. Thanks for chatting. I know there's some more... There's more discussion options, but as I've said, play it yourselves, guys. Honestly. Uh, well, I hear Gibbage 2 is really good, so let's try giving them that, then. There you go, boys. A slice of retro gaming awesomeness. Retro gaming? Well, it was made by dinosaurs. Fair enough. Hooray! Yeah, they guys, those guys seem appeased. And he threw away his bottle. Hmm. Well, I don't know why we need it, but I'm sure we will. Let's take it with us. Guess they won't be needing this moonshine in order to keep warm anymore. They have the exercise regime only video games can provide to keep the blood circulating now. Always fun. Uh, also while we're here, let's find some use for this crowbar. You never know when you're gonna need a random large plank. So let's take it with us, I suppose. Yoink. Bah, carrying this thing around in my pocket is gonna make me walk funny. More funny. He does walk pretty funny. Look at those legs. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before those sounds drive me crazy. Um. So, yes, that's that. Let's go and see if we can open any more doors now, then I expose. I expose. I should really learn English one of these days. Might be beneficial. Uh, so, ooh, I think we've got something for that. Yes, let's use this X Wing. Huzzah! Now we can get in here. This place looks orangey. Man, I hope the enemies put a holiday resort dimension through one of these doors. Maybe these are their holiday resorts. Maybe we unknowingly won an intergalactic competition and they think all these shenanigans are just as relaxing for Earth folk. Well, in that case, I hope this is the complaints department dimension. Eh, <laughs> you also. Okay, that's. That's a bit scary. Oh no! A dimension where global warming has destroyed the planet! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! I don't think global warming would cause a volcano to just appear like that. Really? Ah, oh, well, we almost learned a valuable moral lesson there. Maybe next dimension, buddy. Maybe next dimension. Uh, ooh, there's a spanner over there. Man, much as I'd love to carry some scalding hot lava around with me, I don't much think plunging my hand directly into the river of scalding hot lava is the way forward. Hmm, do we have any container? Oh, thermos. Thermos is a good for holding hot drinks. I don't see why lava should be any different. Aha! Thermos full of piping hot lava. Quick, put the lid on, lest it cools. One step ahead of you, buddy. This lava is staying hot. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, we're gonna keep that hot lava. Uh, let's get over there, actually, because I want that spanner wrench thingy. Let's take it with us. Yoink. Uh, somehow I don't think that his arm would be floppy if he was burnt to a crisp. I think it would just... Harsh. Uh, uh, let's take the plank with us as well, actually, I think. That could be quite useful, actually. I'm not picking that up again after all the effort I went to get it there. Besides, I'm rather glad not to be carrying it around in my pockets anymore. I've got splinters in my todger now. Lovely. Lovely. Well, we're done with that dimension for now. Uh, now we've got this spanner wrench thingy. We can use it in this spanner wrench thingy slot. So that's pretty nice. Do -do -do -do. Hey, I finally got it timed pretty much right. Uh, so, as you can probably tell, well, you should look around. And it's right next to that door, which looks very similar. I have a bad feeling about this. Get in there, you big furry oaf. Ah, Star Wars reference. Okay. 
Hey, this all looks eerily familiar. Your powers of short-term memory recall astound me. Wow. Well, in the next part, guys, we're going to see what's going on in Ice Dimension. I will see you guys later tomorrow. Not tomorrow, actually, because this is going up on Friday. So I will see you guys on Monday, I suppose. I will see you then, guys. Goodbye!